Fines could be going up in violations related to the Parks and Recreation Department, but not to add revenue to the city, says Chairman Patrick White. He says the fines are changing to align with state statutes. And our present ordinance says that the fine is $90. We passed last month the various uh, new recreation, parks and recreation regulations. And in the new parks and recreation um, regulations that were passed last month, they have a system of four levels of fines. And they range from $35 up to $250. And that's because the state statute allows or permits a community to charge up to $250. So we believe that because of the regulations that were passed, that the, that the city ordinance then has to be amended so that these regulations then can be fairly enforced or legally enforced. Yes, the amount that's in the ordinance now is for $90. Right. And that's the maximum according to our ordinance. So what we want to do is to bring our ordinance in line with the new regulations permitted by state statute. Well, let's put it this way. I mean, some of the violations are certainly more serious than other violations and really warrant a $250 uh, tag and others are not as serious, therefore they only warrant the $35 tag. We didn't do it in the sense to be a money-raising uh, venture, but obviously uh, some fines will probably be $150, others will be $250. Now how many fines are actually issued over the year, I, I really couldn't tell you. They could be one, there could be a hundred. So the amount of money you're bringing in isn't really quite a bit and it would then go back really to the city of Stamp. The Parks and Rec Commission worked hard, really put in a long, lot of hours to review all their regulations. They were public hearings and the public did have their chance to speak. Also in front of the Parks and Rec Committee here at the Board of Representatives, the public had a chance to speak and members of the public did speak and it's been debated by our committee and tonight it's up for final adoption. The point is, is that I think it's been fairly reviewed and I think the fines as structured are fair. When the list of new fines and regulations are set by the city, White said he would forward the list to its relevant and we will post it to the site.